Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the implementation of a 4 is to 1 marks using pass transistors and transmission gates. Okay, let's get started. Here if you see on the screen, we have input data lines as D0, D1, D2 and D3. My control signals are S0 and S1 and my multiplex output is equal to Y. Once I have this, what I have done is I have written the expression for a 4 is to 1 marks which is nothing but y equal to s1 bar dot s0 bar dot d0 plus so on and so forth. Okay, so we can see the expression. This expression clearly tells me that my output will be equal to d0 if my s1 is high and my s0 is high or my output will be equal to d1 if my s1 bar is high and S0 is high or my output will be equal to D2 if my S1 is high and S0 bar is high or my output will be equal to D3 if S0 is high and S1 is high. So there are a lot of ors and there are a lot of ands. Let's start with the first term for pass transistor. So Y output will be equal to D0 when when my S1 is high and S0 is high. Let's quickly draw that. We are using NMOS as pass transistors. So we can straight away implement this. S1 bar, I beg your pardon, it's not clear. So I'll make it a bit clear for you. So this NMOS has an input as S1 bar. S1 bar and, and means series. So put a series for another NMOS. And S0 bar. And this is nothing but my input D0. And this is nothing but my output y which will label at the end so this is one case or or means parallel s1 bar is high okay let's quickly make that s1 bar and s0 is high so this is in series with another transistor whose input is nothing but s0 and this is also leading to d1 at my output so it's parallel so this both terminals will be shorted or so another parallel chain s1 is high so this is s1 and and is series s0 bar is high so this is s0 bar and this is nothing but leading to my output d2 again this is in parallel so it's shorted or so one more parallel chain s1 is high and s0 is high and this leads to my output d3 and this is nothing but my overall output so this is nothing but a 4 is to 1 marks using pass transistor in this case and MOS pass transistors. However, if we see, we see that we have used eight transistors here. We can simplify this further and we can use less transistors so that our area is saved. Let's see how do we do that. For that, the expression which is written here, the star expression, we need to just simplify it one step below. See y equal to, I'm going to take S1 bar common which will lead to S0 bar D0 inside the bracket plus S0 D1. Now I'll take S1 common plus S1. So S0 bar D2 plus S0 D3. So now I have simplified this expression further and let's try to implement this expression now. So this is nothing but S0 bar D0. Let's do that. S0 bar and more. So straight away we can use S0 bar end it with d0 this output right now is nothing but s0 bar d0 we have already seen this in the previous clips that if this is my nmos and this is my control signal and this is input a my y is equal to a dot control we had never written control because control we were presuming to be always one or control was one so it was a dot control which was a dot one so y was equal to a so this is nothing but if you have not followed this, there's nothing to worry. It only means that the output is nothing but ending of your gate terminal and your input. So here this voltage is nothing but D0 dot S0 bar. Fine. The other term is S0 D1. So let's do that. S0 and D1. So this is nothing but D1 dot S0. Now this entire term is in series with S1 bar. So we need to put this entire term in series first and foremost this term is in parallel to this term so this both are parallel so I've just drawn the parallel connection and it is in series with s1 bar 
So this is nothing but S1 bar. And this is going to be my output. 